Welcome to the Ebert Honey Company's lesson in queens. The first thing you need to ask yourself is do I need a queen? There are several scenarios in the hive that indicate that you may need a queen. Remember, no hive can operate without a queen. First of all, you may see a capped queen cell. This could be great news because maybe your hive is already producing a queen on its own. You want to wait three weeks and see if the surrounding cells in the rest of the hive have eggs or no eggs. If there is a single egg per cell, it means you have a laying queen. If there are no eggs, you do not have a laying queen. If there are multiple eggs per cell, you have laying workers, and we'll go over that problem here in a minute. The second scenario is you may have an emerge queen cell or a hive that has just swarmed. This is what an emerge queen cell looks like. A capped queen cell is the same thing, just with a cap on the top. So that would be this scenario, and this is the emerged queen cell scenario. If this is the case, you want to wait two to three weeks, and then again look to see if there are any eggs. If there's no eggs, no cell, and no queen, you have a few options. First, you could buy a queen and introduce her to the hive. You could also give the, the hive eggs or small larvae and hope that the workers produce a queen out of that. You can also combine it with another hive. This is a case of laying workers. As you can see, there are multiple eggs per cell and multiple larvae. The symptoms of laying workers mean that they have this multiple egg and larvae per cell issue. You'll also notice that there's lumpy capped brood. So in normal capped brood, it'll be flat. And this is very much raised, as you can see. This will produce male drones. These are unfertilized eggs that have been capped over. Oftentimes, these drone cells will die and there will be this chalky substance that emerges from them. You may see a queen cell such as this, but don't be fooled. Oftentimes when you have a laying worker situation, this is what's going on inside of that queen cell. Multiple eggs that will never result in a queen. So, is there hope if you have laying workers? Yes. First of all, you can insert a new queen. The old queen was dead. You can combine a queen right nuke or hive with the hive that is without a queen as well. So what that means is you actually take the, the, the hive that doesn't have a queen and you combine it with a hive that does have a queen. You can also add brood and bees from a queen right hive, meaning you take a few frames of brood and bees, healthy bees from a hive that has a queen, and you put them into a laying worker situation. Then you want to wait 2 to 24 hours and then insert a new queen. By putting new brood and bees from a queen right hive into the hive that was queenless and having, having laying workers, you increase your odds of the hive accepting the queen. Laying workers can sometimes be hostile to new queens. You can also shake out the entire hive and then insert a new queen. You can also insert a cell or young brood. This is a picture of a cell that you could take away and insert. You want to wait three to four weeks, and it's successful if this cell emerges and it mates. Remember that when you buy a queen, the queen is already mated. So what do you do with your queen when you get her? This is a really important step of the process. So your queen is going to come in a box or an envelope, and it's very important that you keep that box or envelope out of direct sunlight and heat. You want to keep her in a cool, dry place and put her into her new hive as soon as you can. Then she's going to come in this cage. In this cage, she has five nurse bees with her to help take care of her during the process of transport. We ship all of our queen bees in these kinds of plastic cages. When you get this cage, you want to take it and you want to gently push it into the wax right below the top bar of the, 
of the frame. And you want to make sure you put it between frames, not on the outside. You want to put it as close to the top as you can because you want gravity to work with your queen. You want her to be able to walk down the hive, not up the hive. Remember, she just got done with a long trip and she's going to be pretty tired. Do not put her at the bottom of the cage if you can help it. If she happens to fall down there, don't panic. This doesn't mean that she didn't survive. It just means it was harder for her to get onto the frames. Now, what happens is you do not just release the queen into the cage. So right in here, there's a candy tube. And that candy tube takes about two to three days for the workers and the queen to eat through. Once she eats through it, she's released. It's important not to just release her into the, into the hive because the workers may reject her. By keeping her in the cage and then letting her work her way out and the worker bees helping working their way in, is they get used to her scent, they get used to her presence, and therefore your success rate is going up considerably. Sometimes queen bees are shipped in cages like this, although we always ship in these plastic cages unless requested otherwise. So is my new queen a sure thing? There are several factors that go into acceptance and success rates when introducing a queen to her new hive. So I'm sorry to tell you, there are a few things that you want to check on before you introduce a queen. First of all, do you have enough bees to take care of your new queen? Remember, she cannot survive in an empty hive. She needs worker bees to take care of her. So make sure that she has enough bees. How long has your hive been without a queen? If, she, if they've been without a queen for a while, you may have a lane worker situation. Remember, if you have a lane worker situation, it's ideal if you can take a few frames from a hive that has a queen and replace them in the, queen, in the hive that doesn't have a queen. This settles the hive down and makes it more apt to accept its new queen. You may also have a hidden virgin queen. Virgin queens are really hard to spot because they're shorter, they're thinner, and they also look a lot like workers. Remember, there's only room for one queen in a hive. So if you have a virgin queen, you might have a problem. Also, if she dis doesn't mate or unsuccessfully mates, she's not going to lay fertilized eggs. Remember, all the queens that are shipped out are guaranteed to be mated. Also, keep in mind that rejection is always a possibility. Sometimes the worker bees reject the new queen and there's just nothing you can do about it. This is a really unfortunate situation, but if you utilize these tips, you can also diminish your odds of having queen rejection. You can also replace a queen by using a nuke. What a nuke is, is it's four frames of bees and brood and a queen in this little mini hive. Nukes are only available for pickup, but when you introduce four frames of bees and brood and the queen into a hive that is queenless, your chances of acceptance are really very good. You can also use a nuke for making a new hive. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact us. You can visit our website at www.ebertqueens.com. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful year of beekeeping and lots of honey in the fall.